Hello folks, it's pretty much Chinese New Year, so another Lantern Rite event is out, which is the biggest event in Genshin. To start this, you need to be Adventure Rank 28 and have completed a New Star Approaches. The rewards we can get from this event is pretty big. We can get a free 4 star character, such as the new Yunjin, a new Ningguang skin that looks very nice, as well as materials. There's a little bit of level up materials, a bunch of furniture, as well as another crown and some talent books. Also remember to claim your daily login for those juicy 10 intertwined fates. This event comes in 4 sections, 3 of which is already unlocked and the 4th one will be later down the line. This video will be the guide for the first 3 sections that is out on day 1. Once you have completed enough cutscenes, you will unlock the launch tube, which you can find in your gadgets page. Go ahead and place it and start smelting fireworks. You need to get at least 2700 points, which is very easy to get. Your goal is to try to raise these 3 parameters to have it reach this little colored bar here. And to do so, you just choose different levels to increase it by, and then smelt. And you can try as many times as you want, so in case you go over too much, you can always just exit out and retry again. The order you pick these also matters because your flame will change over time, but it's not going to make enough of a difference, so just play with it as you will. Notice that I'm a little bit over on the color. And even so, if I go and complete the smelt, I have still gotten plenty of points over 2700 to get the max reward. For the second fireworks, the solution is shown below. And that's pretty much it for making fireworks. You'll unlock more of them as the event goes on, and it's gonna be the same process again. The second set of events is more combat related. Here, you'll need to fight a couple camps of treasure hoarders, as well as shooting some enemies and balloons on the boat. When fighting the treasure hoarders, one, one of them no will be the leader out. with a little red mark Think above their head. They'll have enhanced defense, and you want to remove that buff. To do so, just grab one of the crates you see in the combat area, and use it on the leader. This item will make a cone attack in front of you, and as long as you hit the leader with it, you'll remove the buff and you can easily take them down. To complete this section, you need to fight treasure hoarders a good number of times. And remember to pick up the crates after each fight to claim your reward. There is no escape. Here comes the fireworks. Now you shall perish. Illusion shot! Fire hazard! Light up these! In addition to the land portion, there's the sea portion where you need to pick up crates on the water. Some of them will just be by themselves, and others will have enemies defending them, so you need to defeat the enemies before you can grab the crates. If you are not sure where to go, you can always open the event page and go to the sections you are missing. 
They will take you to the world map and mark the locations of challenges you have yet to complete. Just follow those markers and indicators and you'll get this done. Once you are done collecting all the crates, a third type of challenge will begin. This is where you got to destroy a balloon while on a boat. This part is also pretty easy. Just keep shooting the balloon and try to use the explosive barrels to your advantage. Wait until the balloon is near them before you blow up the barrels. Also, your boat cannot go over these wooden rafts, so you have to go around certain areas to keep following the balloon. Instead, follow the trail of glowing orbs and that will take you to the correct spot. I'm just waiting until the balloons get closer to the barrels before I start shooting again so I don't waste them. And that's pretty much it for the second portion, on to the third. The third part are shadow puzzles, which is my favorite. Holding left click while moving the mouse will rotate the item, while holding right click will let you turn the item. Just keep moving the item around until you get a shadow that looks like something. The solutions can be a little picky. Notice that I have to turn this sensor 180 degrees for the game to recognize the proper solution. So it has to be turned the right way as well. On the bottom left is your riddle progress. It will tell you how close you are to the answer, with more lights being the closer you are. If you don't solve it in 2 minutes, you can also get a hint. And that's pretty much it for the event so far. This one is definitely worth doing since it's a lot more rewards than normal. And the fourth section, which is a boss fight, will unlock in a few days. I'll probably make another video for that one when it comes out. That's all for now. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. You know, the same old YouTube stuff. And as always, have fun out there, Traveler. And have a happy Lunar New Year.